What's up guys, Justin Fuller here, and today I'm sitting inside of a 2021 Honda Civic. So this is the last year of the 10th generation Civic before they switch to a different body style. But today I wanna to talk about some tips and tricks that you can do on this vehicle to customize it and make it a little bit more yours. So that, that way you don't own it for three years and then go, damn, I never knew it even did that. Let's not be that guy, so let's hop on in. All right, so there's a lot going on on this screen right here, and I'm gonna show you how to set up some of these customizations. So the first one you'll notice is that I have this alternate skin that I'm using on this 10th generation Civic. And I'm sitting inside of a Civic hatch, right? So let's show you how to get to that first. So if you go to your settings, from here, once your settings pop up, you're gonna go to system. So yours may look a little bit different, but I'll flip uh, back over here. And then we wanna go to the very last screen over here. It's gonna say other. Now when we get here, there's change skins. Then we wanna hit next, and then go ahead and hit yes. And that will flip over to what you're probably used to seeing. Chances are if you own a Civic. All right, so you probably see something like this, but you probably don't have that custom background, right? So the custom background, they've actually made a lot easier. Nowadays, you can just press your finger on the screen and you can change your wallpaper, right? From here, what I've done is I've loaded up a USB and put it into my car, right? So that way I can access any images that I put on it. So I'm gonna go to the gallery here. And from the gallery, you can see I have several different folders here with all kinds of different stuff in it. I'm gonna go to my USB drive specifically and we'll pick uh, this one for now, right? So it's gonna pull up the image and it's gonna ask you to size out what you want in the image. So I'm gonna size that all the way out. Select that so I'm using as much of the image as I can. And then once I've done that, bam, now you can see I have a different image in the background. Now, I'm gonna take this even one step further for you uh, and show you an even cooler trick. So let's go back. They give you uh, some live wallpapers that you can play with, which is really cool here. So these are all set up on the car. Now, I was wondering if I could add a GIF in here or something and kind of add my own. I haven't found a way, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But let's switch over to maybe this one, right? And it'll give you a preview here first. So that way you can see what it looks like. Now I have that running back there. So whether you want an image or you want a live paper, uh, wallpaper, you have options available to you. So let's flip back over to that other skin again. So I'm gonna go to settings from here, just so you can see kind of what you're used to seeing, we're gonna go to system. Once we get through the system, we're gonna scroll all the way over to the very last screen. And it's gonna be the tab for other. All right, so once we get here, uh, you're just gonna scroll down here, you're gonna see change skins. Select that skin and then it's gonna ask you, yes, would you like to add it? Yes, it'll take a couple seconds. Once you've added that, it'll flip over to that alternate skin, right? So if you flip alternate skins, it's gonna throw back to a different image, right? So you're gonna have to change that, so just be aware. All right, so this next tip and trick relates to your keys and of course your car and if it dies. So let's go to the back of the car and let's talk about that. So normally if I came to my car and I was trying to get in it and the, the battery had died, you know, nothing's gonna unlock, right? The doors won't unlock, the trunk won't unlock, but what if my belongings are in the trunk? How do I get them? Well, I'm gonna show you. With my key, and even if you have a key fob, you can pop the key out, there's always a keyhole right here that I can then open, right? So I can open the car. So once I get the car open, from here, I could then reach in and unlock my back door, right? So now I've got two doors open. So once I get the second door open, now we come back here and there's a secret little panel hidden back here that you can pop open. So if you pop this panel open, there's actually a little tab right here. And if you pull that tab, what just happened? You'll notice that your trunk just popped open. Just another way to keep you safe out there in the cold. All right, so on mine, you'll notice that I can jump in here and I have access to a browser right here, right? So I can pull this up and check out news and different things. Well, if you wanna use that, you have to unlock it. So I wanna show you exactly how to do that. So this requires a couple hands here. So you're gonna put your finger on the volume, the phone, and the dimmer switch, which is right up here. And we're gonna hold all three of these. All right, so you're gonna see this screen pull up. So you're gonna select this bottom one, which if you wanna have some fun here, you can look around at some different things and play in this menu. But we're gonna take that one step further. If you hold this phone button, I'll cue the crazy music, we got another secret menu. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you can scroll through here and there's obviously some other options here that you can look at and play with if you'd like. But the one that pertains to us is gonna be the special function settings. So we wanna cancel the Android restriction. So once you do that, you're gonna hit return and back all the way out of this screen. Now, when you do that, you're gonna have access now when you go in here to your browser. So you're gonna select that, but you're gonna need to connect up to Wi-Fi, right? So chances are you probably haven't done that yet. But if you pull down from this screen right here, you can get to the settings right there. And then from here, you're gonna one, wanna turn on your Wi-Fi, right? So you turn on your Wi-Fi and then you click into it. And then from there, you wanna find your phone and go ahead and connect up to it, right? So I've already added in my password so that I could connect to it, 
right? So I'm good to go there. So now I've connected up to a hotspot via my phone. Once I've done that, I can jump back out, select this, jump into my browser, and now I have the ability to look around, check out news, do anything that I'd like. So when it comes to filling up gas, maybe you just bought this car, you come in here and what do you do? You go, okay, hood, um, where's the, the gas thing? Well, let me show you about that because it's actually connected to the door lock. So all I gotta do, make sure this is unlocked. If it is, walk up, press it, and it pops open. All right, guys, so while we're talking about the gas door, let's talk about this valve right here, right? So you'll notice that it's capless and it has this valve that presses on it. So if I ran out of gas, how would I pour something into that? If I have a water bottle, the lip's not big enough. Well, let me show you something over here. If you pop open the back end of your car, you'll notice that there's a tiny funnel here. And no, it's not a trumpet. No, it's not for really crappy beer bongs. But what you can do is throw this in there. It'll hold it open. And now I can pour gas in, whether I'm using a milk jug, water bottle, I don't know, Ziploc bag, whatever it may be, you'll be good to go. So this next one pertains to Android Auto and changing your wallpaper. I don't know if you knew that you could do that, but it's a recent adjustment that they've added. So I want to show you exactly how to do it. So let's start from the home screen, right? You got your phone connected up and you click into Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, right? From there, you go to your regular screen and you see this. If you scroll down to your settings, with the update that they've given, they've given you an additional option. So you're gonna see this right here. If you scroll all the way down, you can now choose your wallpaper and you have several different options that you can go through here and play with. So if you wanna change it, you can absolutely set it up to something else. So using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, typically you'll see this screen right here. So for Android Auto, I'm gonna show you how you can rearrange and decide where these land. So if I press and hold on one, immediately what it'll do is it'll say, check your phone. When I do, you'll see this screen pull up. Now from here, I have the ability to slide these apps around. So that way, if I want them in certain places, I absolutely can. So once I get these moved around, so I'm gonna move some around, right? Right, now to, for it to take place, what I'm gonna have to do is unplug and then re-plug back in. Now that I've got my phone plugged back in, select Android Auto, jump over here to my home screen, and you can see that now all of those have adjusted as I picked. So you can actually roll your windows down on this car by pressing once, twice, and then if you hold, it'll actually roll down your windows for you. So as long as I continue to hold, it rolls them down. Now let's talk about putting them up. All right, so inside of your key here, there's a little switch on the back. If you pull that, you can slide your key out, right? So you're gonna need this key, because what you do is you can walk up, you can put this into the door, and then you can turn, turn one more time and hold, and this will take your windows all the way back up. All right, so for this next one, we're gonna be talking about this button right here. So as you hit this button, right, it toggles through all your options up here. Well, there's some different things you can do. One, you can reorder these, and two, you can add some that aren't currently on here, and then you can remove some also. So let's show you how to do that. So when we come over here to your home screen, we're gonna to wanna to go to settings. Now, once we get under settings, we're gonna to want a system. Now under system, you're gonna see configuration of instrument panel. Now, when you get to this, you've got some different options here. First, you can edit the order. So if you wanna edit the order, it's a little bit wonky, but I'll show you kind of how to do it. You select something that you wanna edit, right? And then you move it forward. So this way, if I want that to be the very first option that pulls up and I wanna move gas back and you know, I wanna move my phone maybe right next uh, to my there, Right, so now when I'm looking through this order, it's gonna show up a little bit differently, right? So that's how you edit the order. Now let's talk about adding in some of those features that aren't currently on there. One being SMS text function, right? So I wanna add speed and time. I'm gonna go ahead and add that one additionally too. So I'm gonna hit okay, and now I've got two additional ones here. Now let's say I wanna remove some though, right? Like maybe I'm scrolling through here and I'm looking and I'm going, you know, I don't really need to see, uh, you know, my gas mileage, right? I, I can look at that on the main screen. Uh, and I don't necessarily care about the turbo. I can knock that out too, right? So now I'm good to go there, right? So I hit okay, come back over here. And now when I toggle through my screens, I can see my SMS text function, right? So it'll give me these additional options and it put my phone here, or excuse me, it put my audio and then it put my phone so it reordered it in there for me too. So just another way that you can configure and customize your car. All right, so as you can see right now on the screen, I can scroll through my menu, but you can see I have the tachometer that's running kind of around the outside. So maybe you don't necessarily want that there. You want to clean this up and kind of have as little showing as possible. Well, let me show you how to do that. So if we come over to the touch screen here, we're going to want to go to settings. Now, once we get under settings, we're going to go to system. Now from system, you're going to look at that down here and you see tachometer settings. Easy enough, I can turn that off. And now you can see over here, I've got a little bit cleaner look here, so I don't have quite as much going on up there in the menu. All right guys, so hopefully these helped you out. If I miss one, I hope that you'll leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Maybe there's something that you know that I need to know that we need to share with the world so that all of us can own and enjoy these cars a little bit more. Other than that, I wanna ask you to do me a couple favors. One, I hope you'll leave a comment. Let me know what you think. 
two, I hope that you'll share the video. You got some friends in a civic group and maybe on Facebook, share with them. Maybe they can learn something. Maybe they'll appreciate it or maybe they can add to this. We can make it that much better. And then three, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. As I go forward and we learn about cars and the 2022s come in and all this, I definitely want to share some of my knowledge and the things that I pick up along the way. So other than that, I appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you later, guys. Later!